Hello everyone, this is Alfred with Stargaze Vacations. I just want to give you a quick update on the cruise itinerary. On day three, we will depart Havana, Cuba at 6 a.m. Once again, that's 6 a.m., not 6 p.m. as it will state in the video. We are also working out the details, uh, trying to have the R&B old school party uh, with the DJ. Uh, that's still tentative, but hopefully we'll get that worked out. And that will happen between 8 to 10 p.m. in the Outriggers Lounge. All right, enjoy the uh, webinar video. Once again, I'm uh, Alfred Willis uh, with Stargate Vacations. This is the uh, FAMU NAA uh, group cruise uh, pre-cruise pre meeting. Uh, we hope to uh, get some questions and be able to answer some some questions as well. Uh, this is co-hosted with a uh, FAMU NAA uh, member. It's going to be Van Russell. He's part of the uh, fundraising committee. So you guys might be familiar with his name. He's been helping me uh, get this going. And he's been doing a lot of hard work. The whole committee has been. And also, we have with us uh, from Norwegian Cruise Line, uh, Shireen. She is a business development manager at Norwegian. So, once again, we'll be able to take questions towards the uh, end of the meeting. You might uh, hear people still chiming in as they come in. Uh, so here we are. Uh, once again, my name is Alfred. I go by Big Al. I uh, hope to see you guys on the cruise ship. I uh, guarantee you can't miss me as I walk up and down the hallways. Uh, that is a picture of my wife that's there with me. Uh, we were actually out on the cruise during that, a Norwegian cruise during those photos. Uh, as you can see, that uh, uh, you might be able to tell from that unit, uh, that outfit I have on there, I'm a retired military member, uh, served 26 years in the Air Force. My wife is a retired military member as well. Uh, but what we like to do, we like to travel. So since we like to travel so much, we started a travel agency. We have agents uh, in Florida, also in Oklahoma, and we're in the process of signing up a few in Texas. And what we like to do, we, we like to cruise. Uh, Norwegian is our preferred cruise line uh, out of all the cruise lines. And so what we have done here at Stargate Vacations, we focus on uh, Norwegian Caribbean cruise, uh, cruises to Alaska, and uh, cruises uh, all around uh, uh, Mexico. So. Well, we love Norwegian. It's just a, it's really a great cruise line. I think you guys are going to like it if you haven't been on it before. Uh, all of our agents get trained uh, in Norwegian activities uh, as far as not just activities, but we learn Norwegian. As you can see there, I hold my master's degree certificate with Norwegian. So uh, we, we like to know our product before we actually offer the product out to individuals. And so as you can tell from the uh, agenda that's right there on the screen, we are going to go over a, a few things. Uh, I do want you guys to know that I appreciate everyone who signed up to help them you uh, at AA raise money. I think it's for a good cause. They have raised a lot of money with this cruise. Uh, we will be doing future cruises as far as, far as what I'm told from the uh, committee members uh, and from uh, Colonel Clark. Uh, they, they are really excited about what's happened uh, with this cruise. Also, uh, today we want to, like I said, we want to give you a quick, uh, brief overview of of the Cuba itinerary, and then also want to go over your to-do list with you. And then I'm going to turn it over to Shireen. She's going to do a presentation uh, of Norwegian Cruise Line, just an overall presentation. And then she has been to Cuba, uh, so she's going to do a uh, give you some more background on Cuba itself. And then if there's any comments for the FAMU board, uh, Van will be here to take those comments uh, or questions. If not, I will get them down and I will get those questions to, to them. So hopefully you guys have been to, uh, to the website. We, you do have a website dedicated to you. Uh, you can see the website address at the top of this page. Uh, everything you need to do is right here at this website. Uh, just use those green buttons. Uh, to do the things uh, that you may need to do. 
especially check it into in your client portal. Uh, a lot of good information in your client portal about uh, your booking, about the cruise ship, about Norwegian. Uh, you can see how much you've paid on your booking, how much you owe on your booking, and you can actually uh, send me notes as well through the uh, through that client portal. So let's talk a little bit about the itinerary. Uh, day one, I'm going to be going out of Miami. Uh, I ask that everyone get there at 3 p.m. to check in. Uh, leave at 5. Uh, but with the ship leaving at 5, there, there, I don't want anyone showing up at 5, uh, 4.45 trying to, to get on the ship. You, that might be running uh, a little bit too close. And also on day one, starting, we're going to have a, wel a welcoming party, a green and orange welcome party. It's going to be from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Outrigger Lounge. Uh, just remember, this cruise is a open bar cruise. It's part of your uh, package. Uh, so it will be alcohol or non-alcoholic drinks, your choice. Uh, and we should have a really good time at the welcome party. Everyone getting to see each other, uh, that you haven't seen each other for a while. Uh, I hear when the Rattlers get together, they have a good time. So I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you guys and getting to know you guys throughout the duration of the cruise. Uh, on day two, we will be arriving in Havana, as you can see the itinerary at 8 a.m. Uh, I strongly recommend you guys sign up for some excursions. There's great excursions out there. Uh, for that, Shireen will go over those excursions a little bit later on. Uh, but we have a full day and night. Uh, which makes this a really special cruise that you get to spend a night there in Havana, Cuba. And a lot of uh, a lot of people have not traveled to Cuba. On day three, uh, we'll depart Cuba at 6 p.m. Uh, when we do depart at 6 p.m., you know, make sure you make it back to the ship uh, ahead of time. Uh, don't try to cut it close being there at 6 p.m. Uh, we want you to get there uh, nice and early. Uh, try to get on the ship 5:30. Uh, PM on the day that we depart. And then also later on that evening, uh, we're still working this out. Uh, we're trying to plan a R&B old school party, uh, working on uh, a list of some good music. Uh, that party will be from, uh, once we final this out, uh, if we're going to have this, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the Outrigger Lounge once again. And so it'll be another opportunity to wear your, your green and orange, uh, come out, have a good time, and uh, let everybody know that that uh, FAMU uh, went to Cuba, had a great time, and now we're headed to the Bahamas to the great uh, Stir Clay Island. And that should be pretty fun, too. I've been to that beach before. It's a very nice beach. Uh, they're going to have a nice buffet out there for us. If you, if you decide to go to the beach, you can stay on the ship if you like. Uh, there will be activities at the beach and also uh, on the ship. And so it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they do have the food and drinks uh, and places to sit uh, at the beach, uh, lounge chairs and everything. They also have some uh, little cabanas that you can rent through an excursion, and they're very nice cabanas. Uh, it's really uh, up to, you know, uh, nice luxury cabanas that you can rent. You can rent them as a, uh, as a group. So look at that uh, as well. And then we'll depart from there and we'll return back to Miami. We should be arriving about 7 a.m. Uh, back in Miami. So I just want to go over a quick to-do list. Uh, I've received a lot of phone calls. I love getting the phone calls. Uh, the other agents and I, we, we just work hard, make sure we take care of, ev uh, of everyone, and we try to give you as much time as you need to help, help with your booking. Uh, so for some people uh, that may or may not be on the line by computer, uh, some people, they have a little bit of challenges with the computers, but that's all right. We'll, we'll help you out. But for this cruise, you need a passport book, uh, not the card. The passport card will not work, so you need to get a passport book. Uh, make sure you have that. We recommend that it's good for six months after the date of return. So you want to have a passport book. Uh, if you're in need of a passport, I suggest you – Start the process now. We all know what's going on in the country with the government shut down. Uh, so you, that might delay the passports. Uh, we don't know. So just get in there and go ahead and submit it now. Uh, uh, submit for your new passport. 
Also, you would need to do the OFAC. This is the, uh, the OFAC. You need to do this online. This is your visa form. The visa price of $75 per person has already been added to your, to your cost. But each person needs to do this visa form and you can do it online. Uh, you just need your booking number, which is in your invoice. Uh, then you'll need to make a selection uh, of the of the right uh, license that you're applying for to go in the uh, to go to Cuba. Uh, the good thing about this, Norwegian's taking care of this for us, so it, it makes it really easy. Uh, it will be added to your ship card, so when you scan to come on and off the ship in Cuba, they'll know if you have your visa or not. Uh, so if you don't have it, you won't be able to get off the ship. Uh, so just make sure you go ahead and complete that. Give me a call if you have any questions with that. I've helped uh, quite a few people with that, but it's it's not that hard. If you actually look at the, also if you look at the email I sent out, there is a how-to video. I made a quick how-to video. There's not uh, any audio in it. It just shows you how to fill out that form. Uh, also, the Visit Your Family you page, which I showed you earlier, it has everything on there. Uh, it also has a link on there so you can select your amenity. Uh, we need people to select their amenities. If you do not select one of the uh, amenities that's available, you will get uh, $75 onboard credit uh, to your captain. So that, that's the automatic default. And also for those who are computer savvy and want to get online and check in early, go to ncl.com, go ahead and get checked in and start checking out things about the cruise. Uh, my big uh, thing for this, we need to get those final payments by April uh, the 24th, as you can see there. You could call in to me. I could process it payments, regular payments, or that final payment that way. You could do it through your uh, online portal that we have for you through Stargate Vacations, or you could do it by the payment form, and it's very similar to the form that you guys use to sign up for the uh, for the cruise. So, uh, you use this website once again. That's the website. Make sure you copy that down. Uh, give me a call and we'll make sure that you uh, are able to get in there and just take care of the things that you need to take care of. And then we'll be, we'll be off on the cruise. I, like I said, I will be on the cruise ship uh, to help you guys out. Uh, we were going to bring more agents, but right now it's just going to be two of us. We'll be on the cruise ship. We'll be able to help you out uh, with anything that you may have come up. Uh, if you want to go directly to the Norwegian staff, you can. Or if you see me, you can come to me and say, hey, uh, hey, Al, I go by Big Al, but hey, Al, this is what's going on. Can you, can you uh, work something out for me? And, and that's what I'm there for. I will go to the uh, Norwegian staff, and I'll try, try to help get that issue resolved. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Shireen right now, and she's going to give you a briefing on Norwegian. And once again, we'll be taking some questions at the end. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule, and thank you very much for choosing Norwegian for your cruise. So I'm just going to give you an idea of where Norwegian is coming from and where we're going. Uh, the history of Norwegian goes back to 1966, where shipping um, tycoon partners uh, Nut Closter and Ted Harrison decided back in those days that they were going to change their business a little bit from shipping and focus on cruising. Keep in mind that back in those days, people were still using cruise ships as a form of transportation and not as vacation options. Uh, so it was, it was revolutionary in their day. So they went from the shipping line to Norwegian Caribbean line is what they called it at first. And eventually, Ted Arison left Norwegian to start another little cruise line called Carnival. Um, so Norwegian did well with, without Ted and is known in the industry as an innovator. Many standards that are known in the cruising industry today were things that were started by Norwegian. Uh, we were the first cruise line to have an outline, uh, out island. We have uh, Great Stir Peas, our private island. Uh, we were the first cruise line to develop new ports in the Caribbean, such as um, Ocherius and St. Thomas. Those are ports that we visit regularly today and the other lines visit as well, but it took an initial investment from 
uh, Norwegian to get those ports up and running. And then fast forward a few years, we came up with a concept of freestyle cruising, and that's really what Norwegian is known for. Um, implementing it, though, was a little bit of a struggle for us. Back in the early 90s, when this concept was first introduced, it meant taking the fleet that we already had in place, basically cutting a ship in half, and then adding a third piece, and then welding the ship back together. The idea behind freestyle cruising is to give our guests extra options when it comes to dining, when it comes to their cabin accommodations, um, just lots of extra things that you weren't able to get on a cruise ship before that time. And, and as a result of that, today Norwegian has cruise ships that are custom built for cruise line, um, freestyle cruising. And it's something that the other lines have tried to replicate, but nobody has figured out exactly how to do it as well as Norwegian does. And as a result of that, we're known for freedom and flexibility. It's, it's freestyle cruising. It's your vacation. It's exactly how you want it to be. We're known as the youngest for having the youngest fleet at sea, and we continue to do that. For the past few years, in the last three years or so, we've invested in our fleet in updating the older ships to make them um, the same feel as if you were stepping on a brand new ship. And hopefully you'll see that when you all get on board the Sky, because the Sky will have gone through her refurbishment as well. We offer superb dining options, the best entertainment at sea, and of course the, the rich stateroom mix. And these are all things that we're able to do because of that freestyle concept. <clears throat> Next slide, please. Perfect, thank you. All right, so continuing on with this, um, freestyle cruising. One of the things that Norwegian is known for, hands down, is we have the absolute best product for Hawaii. And if anybody's ever cruised Hawaii with us, um, with the other lines, you have to visit a foreign port before c continuing on your US, into a US port. Norwegian has the only U.S. flagged ship that's based in Honolulu. Because of that, and because that ship is U.S. flagged, it never has to leave U.S. waters. The Pride of America spends all seven days of that cruise going from island to island to island to island for a total of roughly 100 hours in port in the Hawaiian Islands. I mentioned the rich cabin mixture. Um, Depending on the ship that you're on, Norwegian's op Norwegian offers cabins to fit our cruisers from a studio for a solo traveler up to the Haven by Norwegian, which is our exclusive ship within a ship concept at the very top of the ship, where it is key card access, it is butler service, it is concierge service. It is absolute the best way to travel on a cruise line. And of course, being that we offer that freestyle concept, it's very laid back. Um, it's as much as you want to do or not want to do on your vacation. Norwegian has become known as the best product for multi-generational families. Um, also for first-time cruisers where we offer that experience of you not knowing what you really want to do or what to expect expect on a cruise ship. We offer that um, freedom that you can do as much or as little as you want to do. And as far as the dining, I don't know if anybody knows, but a few years ago, Norwegian, Norwegian Cruise Line became Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, and we purchased Regents and Oceana Cruise Lines. So with all three brands, and they are luxury and upper luxury brands, with all three brands, we've been able to borrow ideas from each other. Norwegian is known for fantastic entertainment, Broadway-style shows, and they've gained that from us, and we've gotten um, <clears throat> their 
absolutely fantastic food service that they have on board those two lines. So we continue to learn from each other. And as I mentioned, we continue to invest in our fleet, updating the older ships to make them seem as if they're absolutely brand new ships. At some point, we can share a video that um, we'll show you that we've taken the ships down to the steel and absolutely rebuilt them. Um, that's the Norwegian EDGE program, which continues into next year. Norwegian has originally allocated $400 million of investment to update these ships, and we continue to do it because it's important for our guests for when they step on board, they not know the difference between a ship that is 10 or 15 years old versus one that was just introduced last year. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so this slide um, will show you every departure port that Norwegian sails from. So we've gone from a little Caribbean cruise line sailing out of Miami, going to the Eastern or Western Caribbean, and now it's a global presence. We have cruises sailing out of Hong Kong to Dubai, to San Juan, to Honolulu, and everywhere in between. And the plan is to increase those departure ports as the fleet grows. Uh, next slide, please, Al. Continue. <clears throat> um, in 2017, we welcomed Norwegian Joy. She was specifically built for the China market. She has um, been redeployed and will be coming to North America later on this year to join her sister, the Norwegian Bliss, who we introduced last year. And then this year, uh, in November, we welcome the Norwegian Encore. Um, then we take a break from introducing new ships for a little bit. Into 2022, we have uh, four ships on order going through 2025, and then two more on option following that. So we continue to invest in the fleet. We are committed to keeping our product the best that's out there. And you'll notice that with the joy and the bliss and the encore, these are larger ships. They, are, they carry a lot of passengers. But with the Leonardo class, which comes in 2022, we're scaling back the ships so that they're a little bit more mid-size and we can get into ports that we wouldn't normally be able to. Um, so that's going to increase our presence in some of the smaller U.S. ports as well. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so as Norwegian continues to grow, and expand. We're investing in the fleet, we're investing in the guest experience, and we're reaching out to um, the many non-cruisers out there. There's probably about 70-75% of North America who have not been on a cruise ship. And cruising is really for everybody. Regardless, if you're a luxury client, we have a product for you. If you're a solar traveler, if you're a foodie, it really doesn't matter. Um, there is something for everybody. And if you take, for example, a multi-generational family and you put them on board one of our ships, everybody will find something that's geared specifically for them. Everybody will walk away from, from the ship with a unique experience. Um, next, next slide, please. So when Norwegian was just developing and being that innovator, we purchased our private island in the Bahamas, Great Stir of Key. Um, we've done significant work on the island, in, including the cabanas, as Alfred mentioned. We've added some um, oceanfront villas that are in the process. We've added a flight house, which is a zip line. Um, we've also, a couple years ago, two years ago, we added a private destination off of Belize, and that is private, um, excuse me, Harvest K. Next slide, please. That's another shot of Great Stir Key. That's the beach area. There is a, a lagoon area as well. Uh, the island has jet skis, snorkeling, um, nature trails, um, lots and lots and lots to do. Um, also, when you're on the island, the entertainment team is there, so there will be lots of music, lots of games, lots of fun things to do on the island. Next slide, please. 
is the shot of um, Harvest Cave, the, uh, the private destination off of Belize. Next slide, please. Now, I know everybody's familiar with the, the travel theory that if you wait until the last minute, you'll get the best pricing. That is not always the case, and, and in recent years, it is really not the case. Um, Norwegian has been committed to offering more value to our guests and to our travel partners instead of reducing the price closer to the sailing to try and fill the ship. So what you'll find is um, we'll offer an amenity such as the beverage package, um, and I know you guys don't have to worry about that because you have that included in your sailing, but for a regular sailing, that's something that is valued easily on a seven-day cruise at $700 a person. So that's an amenity that's something that Norwegian will include as an amenity option when you book a, a seven-day cruise, um, building in that value for you. Same thing with the dining package. We'll offer uh, shore excursion credits. There's a range of things that we'll add as amenity options for our clients, our guests to select from in place of adjusting the pricing because we understand that it hurts you when you hear that somebody else paid much, much lower um, than what you did. So we're trying to keep the integrity of the pricing, not fluctuate. Um, so those people that are looking for the very last minute deals, not saying that you won't find them every now and then, but for the most part, we're trying to hold the integrity of the price and offer the amenities and the value of the cruise, the service that you're going to get and experience on a Norwegian ship um, versus reducing the price and hurting our clients. Next slide, please. I wanted to give you guys an, a heads up on uh, something that you can take advantage of when you're on board the ship. It's called Cruise Next. What that is, you're paying for a future deposit on your next cruise. It's valued at $250, which is what the typical Norwegian deposit would be on a seven-day sailing. The fantastic thing about this is that when you buy one valued at $250, that cruise that you're on, Norwegian is going to add $100 to your onboard account. So you're getting a credit of $100. You're technically paying $250 for it, but it works out to be $150 for each one of these deposits that you buy. You're allowed to buy up to four of them, and you can give them away. So if you're on board the ship and you buy three or four and you know that you're planning a cruise down the road, um, for your family or whatever the case may be. These are things that you can purchase for yourself and you can gift them to your children or to, um, <clears throat> to another family member who might be traveling with you. The other great thing about this is that that one cruise deposit satisfies the deposit for your cabin, regardless if it's one guest or four guests in that cabin. So it really is a great value, something very useful. And it works. There is an onboard credit that's credited back to you depending on how many you buy. If you buy one, it's $100 that goes back to your account. If you buy two, $250. you buy three, $375. If you buy four, you get $500 back to your onboard account. And that is on the cruise that you, um, you purchased them on. Next slide, please. <clears throat> If you miss the deal on board the ship, you have the option when you get home, you'll get an email that's welcoming you back and asking you where you'd like to go next. It's the same idea as the cruise next deposit, only the credit that you get will be $75 on the next cruise that you take. So it's the same idea, you're buying that deposit, $250, but instead of getting $100 on board credit, you get $75 on your future cruise. Next slide, please. All right, so a little bit about Cuba. You guys are doing this the absolute best way, at least I think so, and it was the best option for me for not speaking the language and not being sure of what the conditions would be. I did Havana when Norwegian very, very first started sailing there a couple of years ago. 
Um, like I said, I don't speak the language, so it was a great way for me to get an introduction into, into Havana. Uh, next slide, please. You'll be sailing on the Norwegian sky. She's a mid-sized ship. She's not huge. She's definitely um, not going to be the Bliss, if you guys are familiar with the Bliss. Um, mid-sized, because that is what the port in Havana can accommodate. Um, let's see. We dock in Havana directly across from this cathedral that you're seeing on your screen. It's basically their downtown area that you are free to get off the ship and walk around. Um, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you guys take a look at the shore excursions that Norwegian offers. I know there are other um, operators out there that offer other excursions. Fine if you want to do that. I recommend that you stick with Norwegian. And I will also tell you that the coaches that, that we use, well, not that Norwegian use, that our operators use are brand new. And my thing when I went to Havana was because I was unsure of the conditions and what to expect, I did everything through fabulous experience for me. <clears throat> Next slide, please. So just a little bit about Cuba. I mean, everybody's, everybody's familiar with, with the story of Cuba, the story of Fidel Castro and how everything came to be in the later part of um, recent history. But I will tell you that how Norwegian started going to Cuba was about two years ago, we were at our sales meeting and our NCLH CEO, Frank Del Rio, came into the meeting and he was uh, scheduled to present I have to be on a plane. And everybody was speculating at the time because every, everybody was buzzing. We wanted to go to Cuba. We wanted to go to Cuba. And we had to wait until Frank went down to Havana, had the meeting with the powers that be in Cuba to finally be able to do this. Very, very exciting time for all of us here. Um, so a little bit of, of history about uh, Cuba, Christopher Columbus was, was there. Um, <clears throat> just going through the history. Uh, for me personally, I had no idea. Um, 1898, the Spanish-American War begins, and the U.S. defeats Spain begins military operation, um, occupation. Makes sense that with the revolution that happened in Cuba, it would be the U.S. that were affected by it, but I did not know that. And of course, everybody knows about Raul Castro. Uh, 2017. Next slide, please. Going into the port of Havana, they are on the same time zone, Eastern Standard Time. I will let you guys know that when you get into Havana, um, if you I suggest you communicate with your families before, let them know it might be difficult to reach you or, or it might be difficult for you to reach them while you're there. Um, the service is not fantastic. We're working on it, but it, it is limited while you're important in Havana. Um, everybody knows the language is Spanish. The currency is the Cook, which is the Cuban convertible peso. It is different than the local currency that they use. Um, when you disembark the ship, you are required to take your passport, you are required to take your visa. It's, a, it's an actual piece of paper that you'll be issued at port check-in. Um, you will go through their immigration and you will go through security before exiting the port terminal. Um, upon return to the ship, you're going to repeat the process. Every time you get on and off the ship, you're going to go through immigration, you're going to go through customs to so make sure you have your passport with you at all times. Um, best way to get around, of course, is the organized excursion, and I, I, again, I highly recommend that. Um, <clears throat> uh, next slide, please.
the short versions. Um, a few that I experience and I recommend, one being the Modern Havana in uh, an American Classic. And this one is priced, if you're doing it through Norwegian, it's priced per vehicle. So if you've got two or three people in your cabin, you only need to book one tour. Um, it is absolutely worth it. You disembark the ship, you exit the, the port terminal, you board your coach, and they take you to a parking lot that has a variety of, of cars, American classic cars parked up. And you walk and you pick your driver and you pick your car for the day, and you guys are off. And you do a tour of Havana, you end up uh, going through the cemetery, which is absolutely amazing and you end up at the National Hotel where um, you'll get a mojito, where that mojito was uh, created. Um, another one that's hugely popular is the cabaret, Parisian cabaret at the Hotel National. Um, that's hugely popular. And then there's one that I don't see here, the Tropicana is, is offered as well, and that is another cabaret. Uh, and that is absolutely fantastic. Next slide, please. And just some shots of Havana. Okay, I think that's all the slides for uh, Norwegian at this time. Uh, remember, we will be doing some questions here in just a second. I don't know if Van made it on to the, uh, to the call. Uh, we wanted to be able to, uh, if there was any uh, comments that Van Yu had to put out, uh, I'm just not seeing him in on the, on the call. So, he, he was he was trying to make it. I'm not for sure if he did, uh, or not for sure if he got logged in uh, as a host. I don't see him as a host. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, to the next slide. And basically, we're going to start uh, having some questions, uh, questions and answers. Uh, we've already had one question. I will, uh, Shereen, you can answer this for me. I I posted. Sure. I think I think I posted correctly. Uh, when talking about the cruise next, uh, how long are they good for? When do they expire? You have four years to use them. Okay. That's one of our, our questions here. Uh, another one, uh, so are the uh, uh, shore excursions listed on the FAMU uh, website? Uh, not that total list. We do have a link out there uh, for that, but I will put a tab on the front of the uh, website on, on, on your FAMU page uh, that Stargate Vacation has, so you could quickly get to the shore excursion so you could see them. Uh, if you want to book them, you could call me to book, or you could book them if, once you log in to your uh, Norwegian account if you make your Norwegian account. Looking for some, uh, are there any, are there any other questions out there? I'm, I'm not seeing any other questions. We'll, we'll hold for a little bit. Uh, one thing I will do, I will take you back to, uh, to, to one particular, uh, slide. I just want to, want you guys to know this is uh, uh, that on your uh, I guess it'll be on your right. That is your FAMU uh, Cruise 2019 uh, page. 
really want to make sure you guys are taking advantage of, of using that particular page. There's, there's a lot of information in there, uh, mostly selecting your amenities. Uh, please do select your amenities. Your cruise payment uh, is there. We actually have someone else sign up today for the cruise, so there's still available room. If you know some people are considering, uh, tell them, yeah, sign up, and, and we'll, uh, like Shereen was saying, the, the prices, we'll get them, a, we'll get them a, the, uh, the current rate. Uh, but they'll be available to get all the amenities that the group will receive. So, yes, we still have room to add more people to the crew. So keep spreading the word. Uh, you know, we're not done with uh, promoting promoting the screws, as you, as you could tell. I think we had a couple more questions come in. All right, let me see. Uh, I believe it's Jean asked about currency before cruise. Uh, I guess you're asking if you should do an exchange of currency before cruise uh, to use in Cuba. Uh, Shereen, will you help us with that one? Sure. When you um, when you exit the terminal, when you go through um, their customs and security, at the end of the terminal, it's just a long walkway. At the end of the terminal, there is an area that you can exchange currency. So you don't have to do it beforehand. I don't believe you can do it beforehand, um, but you can do it inside the terminal before you get to the, the, the coaches for the excursion. Yes, I, I believe Cuba is one of the countries that you, you can't do beforehand with banks uh, in the U.S. as well, uh, not that I know of. So, yeah, it would be uh, probably better to do it there once you're in Cuba. Definitely that's when to do it. Uh, so uh, next question uh, we have out there, uh, is it safe to say there's enough time to do one excursion per day, Tuesday uh, or Wednesday, or do you recommend just uh, one day on Tuesday? Uh, I, I definitely on day two, I mean, we're there overnight, so you, you, you have all day uh, to do your excursion. I know if you book the excursions through Norwegian, and Shereen could uh, uh, back me up on this, if you book your excursions through Norwegian, they are set times. Mm -hmm. You are, uh, they are, they are the ones that are certified, and they'll make sure that that excursion ends in enough time for you to get back to the ship. And they are tracking those excursions. The uh, if you buy your excursions, uh, they're a different way. Norwegian is not track. They're not tracking those from third-party vendors. So would that be correct, Shereen? That's absolutely true. Um, the, the operators that we work with will get you back with enough time to meet the ship, and that happens in any port. Um, so yes, that, that is absolutely true. The, the whole process of um, getting to your excursion is we typically meet in the theater, and they'll call by tour, and everybody's escorted down through the, through the terminal um, to the coaches. So it, it's an organized process, and, and the operators do get you back in time. So that, that is a, that's a very good question. I, uh, I don't want anyone to get left behind, so book through Norwegian, please. Uh, also, booking through Norwegian uh, would help with the fundraising uh, aspect of it as far as what your organization will receive. Uh, some of the, uh, uh, the the proceeds from that booking. Uh, the next question we have, we had a couple more questions. Uh, for the affidavit, is it one per cabin? No, it is one yes. per person. <laughs> yes. Each person has to do that. Uh, I cannot do that for you because you have to uh, affirm or swear or testify to the information that's being put on there. So it is not one per cabin. And that is one of the, the pieces that you need to keep in your records for five years following your trip to Cuba. Yes, yes, please keep that, uh, uh, put it in your fireproof safe or wherever, keep a track of that uh, for that five year period. Another question that's asked, great question. Uh, can airfare be one of the amenities? <laughs> Uh, no, not on this particular cruise. Uh, 
But Shireen, will you tell them a little bit what Norwegian has going on with uh, some of their other amenities, so the new program they have, the, uh, the Take Six or Pick Six? Absolutely. Um, our, this is what we call wave season. January, February, and March of every year is what we call our wave season. Norwegian introduced the Take All Six offer, um, and it's on almost every sailing that we have going right now. Um, <clears throat> it includes airfare, free or reduced airfare, the beverage package, the dining package, shore excursion credits, third or fourth guests in your cabin sail for free, and I'm forgetting one. Uh, I believe there is the, did you say the shore uh, excursion? The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is the last the one. Yes. So that's, that's the six the six options. Um, depending on where you book, if you book, I've seen it on select ocean view cabins, on select sailings, you get to pick all five, um, depending on whether or not you add that airfare. If you book a balcony, you get all of them. If you book anything above a balcony, you get all of them. So it's a fantastic offer that's going on right now. And in combination with that, we also have that reduced deposit. So technically, you can book a sailing for 2020. You only have to put down $50 a person. You get free or reduced airfare, and there are many, many gateways that are coming up with zero uh, for, the, for the airfare. Um, free or reduced airfare and all the other amenities um, that you can take advantage of on that booking if you book a balcony. So that that is a very a very good question. Uh, uh, that is a a phenomenal uh, to me. I I I, I watched this you know this all day long uh, with my agency. It is the best deal going out there and uh, easy deposit. I've I've looked at this from every direction I can. You will save a lot of money uh, with that, along with the other amenities that you you would receive. Just just to note, I want to make sure people understand uh, the savings that you have on this cruise that you're on is a five, about uh, I estimated about five hundred and sixty five dollars uh, savings mm -hmm. from the amenities that you're receiving. That's per that's per cabin. That's a very very uh, big chunk of money to save, and then your organization is also raising funds as well. So this is really Norwegian. Uh, uh, once again, I, I love Norwegian. It's why it's a win-win uh, for FAMU, for Norwegian, for everyone involved. Uh, let's get to another question. We got uh, quite a few uh, rolling in here. Uh, so I'm, I know Terrell is out there and he asked a question. Any Ensemble exclusive or brand offer. I'm not quite sure what you meant by that. Could you sort of uh, sort of give me a little bit more details on that? Uh, have another one. Tell us a little bit more about the specialty dining. Uh, Shereen, can you tell them a, a little bit more about the specialty dining? I believe they'll be receiving sure. uh, three uh, offers. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So on the on the sky, I did my notes before. There's a total of eight restaurants for you to choose from. Yes. Four are covered, um, free, two main dining rooms, the buffet, and then there's a always a 24-hour burger, hot dog, um, French fry kind of late night thing after you've been drinking all night. So there's mm -hmm. always that option. In addition to that, there, <clears throat> there are the specialty restaurants that you, you have the option to, to book. There is uh, the French, French Bistro. There is an Italian option. There is a sushi option. <clears throat> um, and there should be a steakhouse as well. Yep, so those yep. are your options. Yeah. So once again, everyone, uh, go to the website. Uh, where I have it on uh, here for those who could see on the computer, go to that uh, button for amenity selection, click there, complete the form. Those are listed there and so select one of them, the specialty dining 
I guarantee you that's the one that I'm doing because I, I love going to the restaurants. They are they are really really good restaurants to go to, and that that is so you know it's for the first and second guests of the cabin. So we do yeah. have a couple of uh, book three and four, but it's for the first and second guests of the cabin. Uh, another question we have: uh, When do I have to buy travel insurance? Buy. Uh, you need to purchase. I would tell you to purchase travel insurance soonest, uh, and not wait till later on, because uh, you just never know when something could come up. Uh, if you were going to go for a deadline date, I know final payment is on the 24th of uh, April. Uh, so I believe, if I understand correctly, Shereen, they have to purchase that prior to the final payment. Yes. Um, final payment is the absolute latest you can add the um, the travel protection. Yes. Okay. Uh, here, here we have a question. Uh, so uh, back to the uh, ensemble exclusive up to 300 onboard credit for state room and can be combine, combinable with free at sea offer. Uh, I think that's a trail, I, I believe that's a different, that is a, a different, uh, a different it, offer it from, from this cruise. Is that correct, Shereen? That is correct. Okay. Yeah, he says the brand offer is the uh, Take Six for Balconies Plus uh, mini suites. Yes, that, that, that is correct. So I will, I will post some more information uh, about the uh, – I will actually – give me a call if you want to get more information about the Take Six and the Free. Uh, right now, I've, 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 I've promised them you that we will focus on this cruise, and then we'll work towards the next one. Uh, Another question we had, uh, where do we book the airfares? Uh, for this cruise, if you want to book air, you can give me a call, and we'll go over some different pricing for air, uh, or we could book it through, uh, you know, the primary way would be through Norwegian, or we could uh, uh, go, a diff you could book your air uh, independently. Uh, but just give me a call if you, if you want to book air. Definitely give me a call. Let me know. Also, for those who will be booking uh, flying in, uh, we want to make sure we get the transfers, the, the Norwegian transfers, on your account. So you have easy shuttle transfer. They provide a very nice, comfortable air-conditioned bus, which is great. As most of you know, down in Florida and Georgia, it's great in the heat uh, of August just to get in there, relax, and they take you right to the cruise port. So we want to get you scheduled for that uh, sooner than, than later. I uh, have one more question here. For the NCL account, do all members of a cabin share one account, or do we each uh, create our own account? So I, I believe you you're talking about it. when – excuse me? You can separate it. You can do um, different lines. It's going to be one account, but you can – if you want to separate it, if, if, if it's a, um, three passengers traveling together in the same cabin, you can do – um, three different accounts under the same cabin. Exactly. But that's something you do once you get on board. Yes. Yes, you do that. Yep, you do that once you get on board. And I know that's going to be the case for some of our people because we have a lot of people uh, sharing a cabin. Uh, and so mm -hmm. definitely uh, do that once you get on board. I would say do that the first day. Uh, so definitely show up at yes. the uh, check-in at 3 p.m., get on the ship early, and – sort of bypass going to your cabin that day if you're going to do this, go directly to guest services because uh, uh, the lines tend to get a little long at times on usually on the first day and sort of towards the last day of every cruise, no matter which cruise line that, that you may cruise on. Uh, that's people getting new, uh, getting used to the new environment and then taking care of accounts when they're getting ready to close out. And you guys, if you get there before that, don't be afraid to go and check in. 
get on board the ship, um, get the lay of the land, and start enjoying yourself. Definitely, uh, start enjoying yourself. Diaspora. Uh, so there, there was a. Uh, I don't know if there's any. I think I'm going to look through here, see if there's any other questions. Uh, yes. Uh, is there an excursion that focuses on the African diaspora in Cuba? I'm not for sure about that. Doreen, do you know? Um, yes, let me go back to, um, can you go back to that slide, please? Yes. Let's get here, sorry. Uh, here we go. I will tell you that these excursions, even though it, it, it gives you a very generic title, there are components to each of them. Um, the, for example, I mentioned the classic cars. It's the car, it's the cemetery, it's the, um, the national hotel. So there are different components to it. There is um, another one that I did. Oh boy, hold on one sec. The Art of Cuba is going to have some of it. Um, The Cuban rum, and I apologize, but yes, I did do this one. The Cuban rum, cigars, and art, that does include some of the um, African history as well. We actually, they, they took us to an area in Havana where they still practice the old relig religions. Um, and th there was a performance. They actually got dressed up and they came out and they did their dance and, and explained to us the meaning, but the significance behind all of it. So yes, it is, it is still there, and it is addressed in in the art tours. All right, and I do see that there's some some other uh, other individuals uh, that have been there, and they're they're responding to that. They they also said the dance and the art in Cuba, uh, and so yes. Yes, that will be that will be covered in those. So thank you, uh, Shireen, and others for answering that. Uh, so if a person has gluten or diet sensitivities, uh, are there options for them? Uh, yes, you need to let me know that as soon as I could add that to your cabin, to your cabin profile, mm -hmm. and make sure we get that updated. Uh, if there's any special needs that you may have, please uh, let me know. Uh, I would tell you the ship as far as for the cabin categories that we have is, is pretty it's already pretty packed as far as far as that but if you need any type of accommodations if you need help getting uh, on the ship where you need a wheelchair to go up the ramp or need assistance please give me a call uh, if you know others that may need that have them give me a call that way I could get that added to their uh, to their to their booking uh, so Norwegian is aware of that and we can make sure we take care of all of our guests Absolutely. Uh, there's a couple more questions came in there. There's that. Oh, that answered answered that one. Uh, is there a limit on the amount of cigars we could bring back to the states? There is. Hmm. I'm quite sure there Good is. Good question. I don't know. Good question. I don't know the know the number, but I will try to find that find that out. <clears throat> So let me jot that down real quick. Okay. Uh, when is the earliest we could get on the boat? Hmm. Is it? Isn't it? Uh, they start boarding at two hours prior. Isn't that correct, Shree? Um. Typically, what happens is once the ship is cleared from the previous sailing, um, we have guests that could start checking in as early as 11, 12 o'clock. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to board at that time, but you can go to the, the cruise terminal, you can check in, do all your paperwork. Um, you might have to sit and wait a bit until we're ready to start boarding. But yeah, you can get there early and do that do that process. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend get there early, do, do any check-in that you need to do. That way, when they do open up, and get you know it's about them getting the cabins prepared for the next cruise. That way, when they do open oh, up, you want, 
Yeah. <laughs> they usually don't don't open up the cabins until about two two thirty. Yes. Um, is two. when that housekeeping is ready. Okay. Do we have any others? No. Well, uh, there 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 hasn't been any other other questions. I just want to uh, I want to thank everybody. But before we before we close out, I just want to show you uh, one other. Oh, <laughs> so uh, I believe it's called the norovirus. Can you address? Uh, so I, I will tell you. So I watched the uh, travel news pretty close, and I, I can tell you that all the cruise lines, I like to say that uh, all the cruise lines take a, a, take precautions to ensure mm -hmm. that the ship is very, very clean. Uh, and you will see them wiping down handrails. The, the, the ships are kept really immaculate. Uh, it's sad that those things happen, but they do do happen. Uh, what I recommend to people, uh, you are here washy-washy to wash your hands uh, before you go to the buffet. Yeah. Uh, definitely use the hand sanitizers that they they will uh, offer to sanitize your hands so you can uh, clean your hands before you go into the buffet area. Wash your hands frequently uh, and make sure that even when you're on excursions that you watch where you the sources of your food and drink. Uh, just take those kind of precautions. Get a little small bottle of uh, hand sanitizer for ladies, put it in your purse type of deal, and just uh, really take those kind of precautions. But, uh, Serene, did you have anything you wanted to say on that? No, I absolutely agree with everything you said. So, yeah. Uh, uh, that, <laughs> From the time that, that, that you is, step on board the ship, we have um, – sterilizer dispensers everywhere. And then everywhere. there's always somebody as you're entering the buffet area with a spray bottle of alcohol to spray your hands. They do an, an amazing, amazing job of trying to contain and keep the ship immaculate. Yes. Um, so yeah, take, take advantage of, and sanitize your hands at, at every opportunity you have, especially when you get back from an excursion. Yes, especially when you get back from the excursions coming back through. Uh, but but once again, uh, if something, if you have more questions uh, about the, that type of deal, uh, I, I would say be aware of what you what you read at some online sources. Just make sure you get information from uh, maybe from the CDC or something like that way uh, to get some uh, really factual, helpful information when it comes to that. Uh, so finally, I just wanted to take advantage and just walk you guys through uh, just a quick uh, setting for how you will to uh, how you will do the uh, the compliance. And it's very it's, it's it's very simple. When you go to do your OFAC in your your OFAC for your visa. You're going to get to this page. You're going to put the reservation number or the booking number that you have. It should be an eight-digit number. You put that number in. Click Submit. When you go to the next page, read the information on the page. Each person has to do this. And you will be choosing uh, this particular item, uh, the educational exchanges group people to people through Norwegian or other organizations. It is the sixth one down. You select that. Here's a statement. Make sure you read this other information. Uh, check the box. Fill in the information on both sides, wherever you see a red asterisk. Make sure you fill that information in. If you need help with that, please give me a call, and I will be more than happy to uh, uh, walk you through that uh, over the phone. I have no problems, no problems doing that. So... Let me see if there's any, we're going to take uh, maybe one uh, or two final questions, if there are any that we missed. No. Uh, and, oh, here's one, our last question of the night. 
Oh, somebody said uh, you couldn't see anything uh, there for the uh, for the OFAC. Just give me a call if you have questions about how to do the OFAC. Remember the email I sent you about reminding you to do that. There's a link that has a video that will show you how to do it. It walks you right through it. Uh, last question: uh, Are there electrical plugs for my portable oxygen oxygen uh, concentrator? <clears throat> yes, but we need to make sure we get that information entered into your cabin, and I will do that. I have your name uh, to make sure. I do know if you uh, need extension cords. Uh, usually, they have small extension cords you can use for uh, CPAP machines, uh, things of that nature. But try to make sure you have everything that you need just in case there's not any extra extension cords. Uh, but I think you should be fine with that. Uh, do you have anything on that, uh, Shereen? Um, yes, the extension cords are available on board the ship. Um, if, at any, if there's any chance that you can bring it with you just as a precaution, I, I suggest you do that. Um, I a actually just had this question yesterday and I reached out to the onboard team um, and they suggest at least a six foot extension cord. Yes. Go to the local store, get you a six foot extension cord. Uh, you shouldn't need, uh, you won't need the uh, uh, adapters, uh, but you can get the, yeah. the different adapters, but you should be fine. Uh, but I will add that to your booking and actually I will give you a call. I don't want to uh, give out anyone's name on this one, but I will, I have your name. I will give you a call and follow up with you uh, to make sure that we get you uh, taken care of and that you'll have be able to fully enjoy the cruise. Uh, can we bring two-way portable, last question, can we bring two-way portable radios? I don't know about that one. Shereen, can you take that one? Um, I think shortwave radios, the walkie-talkies work fine. Um, so yeah, I don't, I've, I've seen people use them on board. That's not a problem. I, yeah, I've seen people use them on board, and I just sort of wondered, uh, is that okay? So I've seen them use it with That's their okay. kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, all right, everyone. Well, I want to thank uh, I want to thank FAMU first of all for uh, selecting Stargaze Vacations uh, Travel Agency, and also selecting Norwegian for this upcoming cruise. I know there's been a lot of great feedback. People want to do more cruises. They want to do longer cruises. So I would say get with your uh, committee members with FAMU. Talk to them about that. Talk to uh, Colonel Clark. Let them know what you guys want to do. We're already uh, in the stages of planning future cruises, uh, fundraisers for you guys with Norwegian. And uh, you guys are going to be the first and uh, to go out from FAMU. Uh, you won't be the first group uh, that Norwegian has. Uh, taken care of, but you're going to have a great time. Uh, but I do want to thank uh, all of the all the Rattlers out there for signing up and spreading the informa information about this particular cruise and about our travel agency and about Norwegian. Uh, Serene, do you have any closing comments? I just want to thank you all um, for choosing Norwegian. You are going to have a fantastic time. I, Cuba is amazing, and I can't wait to go back. Um, I thank you again, and I look forward to working with all of you. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, thank you, Shereen, for taking the extra time and staying late and doing this. We, we greatly appreciate you. And uh, everyone have a, a great night. And uh, this was recorded, and we'll be putting it up on the, on the website so you guys could uh, share this information and people could, could listen to it and, and everything. So everyone have a great night. And uh, thank you once again. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, everybody.